All right, what's up, everybody? I have a quick update to give to you about the story I did the other day about the FCC regulations protecting consumers' internet privacy. Um, a group called the NCTA lobbied very heavily to get this pushed through uh, Congress and the House of Representatives and now to the president. And what this essentially does is stop regulations put in place by Obama last year that would require the explicit consent of the consumer to sell this information to a, another company like an ad agency. Um, now, we have already experienced this before. Um, Google, for instance, uh, they will use your history of what you have searched for, um, th like clothes you might buy or a product brand you might be interested in and, you know, advertise it to you on the side of a website, browser, you name it. Um, and so, so when we agree to their terms of service, we're essentially agreeing. But we never had to check a box that said, I agree that Google can send and share my information with a third party to make a profit. And a quick opinion for me is if it's our information, even though it's going through the internet service provider, if they're making a profit from our browser history, I think we deserve a cut of it at the very least. But I'm not even for this because the FCC would have required these guys to, you know, be transparent in the fact that they're going to sell off our private data. And this private data could include not only just your browser history, guys. These are also your spending habits. They can see what you do in private search mode. So if you go in incognito mode on Google Chrome, or if you go into another type of, um, you know, private browser to where you don't uh, leave a internet uh, history trace, your internet service provider still sees that information, even though you may not be able to see it again on your computer or access it. They can see, you know, who you associate with, what your habits are online, what websites you like to go to, what things you might be interested in, things that advertisers would be willing to pay millions of dollars for, and they already have. And yeah, they can also possibly even get to sell your private email correspondence. So if you've been emailing and, I mean, anybody you know, they can legally, at least, um, in theory, they can sell that conversation to a company without your, without your uh, consent and the worst part about this is if it's passed which it basically is it can never be repealed so um, we would never be able to go back and change this so that's a quick update for you guys uh, just stay tuned for more updates and videos from me and if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel yet, it's The Primo Show, spelled the same way as it is up here. And click subscribe, like a video, help me out, help me grow, and I'll see you later.